Hi, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to have you come along for a full day of eating with me. So, uh, my name is Sade. I'm a homeschool mom of five children. They are eight, five, three, and one year old twins. They are two weeks into their one year oldness. And I recently, I won't say turned a new leaf. But I've gotten serious with being a cleaner vegan. So I'm going to take you along. This is just kind of a, I'm doing this to motivate myself. Because if I know people are watching, then I'll possibly do better. But anyway, this morning we're going to have some avocado toast. The kids are going to have um, a fried egg on top of their toast. And one of my sons... He's not even avocado, into avocado like that, so he's going to have jelly. And then I'm going to have some, I hope, I think I have some just egg. If not, I'm just going to have plain avocado toast. Or maybe something with like a tomato or something on top of it. I don't know. We'll see what we get, up, get to cook it up in here. I'm going to start off by making some mushroom bacon because I want to have some with either my lunch or my dinner. I don't have a lot of um, just egg. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have two pieces of toast. So I'm gonna make my mushroom bacon because if I have my veggie sandwich today, I want the mushroom bacon. But if also if I have pho, if I make myself some pho, um, I also want the mushrooms on top of that. So the way that I make that, people say don't wash your mushrooms, but I wash them anyway. I know this might be a controversial topic, but yeah, we're washing our mushrooms here. <laughs> Give me a second. All right, so I'm using portobello mushrooms. These have anti-inflammatory and antioxidant and anti-cancer properties. I'm gonna go ahead and season it with some pepper. Oops. And Creole seasoning. The smoked paprika. This is gonna give it that like smoked flavor that you get in bacon. I haven't had bacon in years, so I don't really miss it. So don't quote me on that. <laughs> but it tastes good. This is not my first time making it. Garlic powder. Some onion powder, garlic powder. Some liquid aminos and a little bit of avocado oil. And stir those up. So you're gonna end up with a little paste at the bottom of it, and we're still gonna use that. So we're gonna use that to coat the top of them once they get on the pan to the air fryer. Stir it up. So the smaller ones, I do, sometimes I have shiitake mushrooms, small ones, and I do about 15 minutes. So I think I'm gonna do 30, but I'm gonna check them in 15 minutes. I'll check them in 20, 15, 20, we'll see. I put them on like 370. I'm sure I make it higher. at 370 for 30 minutes but I'm gonna check it in 20. Now I'm about to make the avocado spread. Um, I'm probably gonna leave the twins. Okay, that's what I'm gonna leave theirs in chunks and then me, my daughter, and my son. One of my sons are the only ones who are gonna have it so I think one and a half will be good. 
And then my other son is going to have, um, I'm actually these already though, except this one. Yeah, I'm actually going to do all the ones that are ready. So we're going to have eight have some for tomorrow. Thank you, baby. one of these, this is 32 ounces. <laughs> I try to get one of these done before we even start our day because as the day goes, it's just harder for me to remember like, hmm, have you drank water today? Oh. Yeah, so I'm gonna try to suck one of those down. These don't think about it until bedtime. So my ultimate goal is to drink four of them. So if I drink one in the morning, I usually drink one before I get up, like before everyone gets up, but I didn't wake up before everyone this morning. Drink one before breakfast, drink one before lunch, and drink one before dinner. But I'm already one behind, so today I'll set the goal to be three. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> Alright, I still have to make the toast, but I've been um, almost done with my water. And I'm going to go ahead and make some tea. It's just some lemon. Um, this is ginger turmeric tea. And I'm sweetening it with a little bit of raw um, agave. And it's the amber one. I got this from Harris Teeter last week. And I definitely need to eat this up. So we're going to use this bread. I'm not even sure if it's vegan or not, but I'm going to eat it. I think it is. Yeah, it's sourdough. So I... <laughs> It doesn't look like there's any egg or anything in it. So we're going to eat this bread. I'm going to make some toast for everybody. And then we'll have breakfast. All right, so this is my plate. I got the avocado toast with the just egg and the kale and the mushroom bacon and onion and a pear. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have another one. This is Donovan's plate. He doesn't like avocado toast this is the twins plate this is either jesse or these two are either jesse or benjamin's plate and that's what we're having for dinner breakfast top tier delicious we got a walmart delivery so i'm gonna do a quick little
grocery haul real quick. So I basically got this for um, dinner tonight. Tonight we're going to have meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and string beans. So got some ground beef, um, banana, mushrooms, some fig bars. Everyone loves those. Some Funyun chips, some regular chips. So my husband can have these for lunch. These are for the kids. This is a quick snack for either the twins or Benjamin. They're like really the only ones who eat these. Um, some ramen. I think I'm going to make um, ramen today um, for me for lunch. I'm not sure if everyone else is going to have some. Potatoes, lemon for tea, strawberries, and string beans. And that's it. And I spent $71 on Mama. this. All right, it is 11.17. Um, the twins are up from their nap. I've showered, I'm ready for the day. And uh, I'm gonna finish my water, because my rule is that I don't drink coffee unless I've had one of these. So I'm gonna suck this down, and I'm gonna make some coffee, and then we're gonna start with Bible. So right before lunch. No, you cannot have coffee. Can I make it? No, I got it. Thank you though, I appreciate it. Um, I typically do before 12, we can get, um, like Bible morning time stuff done and then homeschool with Benjamin for just a little bit. And then after lunch, I'll homeschool with Jesse and Donovan while the twins are napping. Or if they're not napping, usually they're pretty content after lunch, so we'll still get started. So, water, coffee, homeschool. It's 12.49. I'm going to go ahead and get started on some, I thought I had some pho broth. But I actually just have some vegetable broth, low sodium. And actually that might be in my best interest because when I had the pho broth the other day, I did get a headache. So I think the sodium level is a bit too high for my <clears throat> intake. So I'm going to do the vegetable broth. So I guess it's going to be more like ramen. The kids are going to have a boiled egg and then they said they didn't want, you don't want the cilantro? And you want the red onion? So yeah, you're, you you can't have cilantro then, because it tastes like soap. Kind of like soapish. Yeah. What happens if you eat it? Yeah. But I have some mushrooms and some bok choy and uh, something else um, to put on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the noodles and get the water boiling for the eggs so that we can not be eating lunch super super duper late. All right, Jess, you go ahead and read while I'm getting these uh, the eggs started and the noodles started. All right, so I have this low sodium broth from Harris Teeter, and the sodium is 5%. The pho broth is like 25, 23%. And then a normal thing of vegetable broth is like the same amount. So I think I'm gonna have to start sticking with the low sodium broth or no, so, no salt added broth. The puppet intended to daddy. Okay. So All right, so I'm about to make their um, their bowls, and then so what I did is I kind of made like a bar. That way we can um, everyone likes a little something different in their bowls. So here's to making our ramen. Noodles. Okay. Let's start with noodles. Okay. I'm gonna give some. I'm giving some to Daddy. Okay. So we can try it. Okay, got ramen. You want you want mushrooms and um, bok choy? Bok choy. Uh, yeah. Okay. I know you want the bull day, right? I want two. Okay. And then you want cilantro. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And green onion? Yeah. Okay. And then I wasn't sure about these. You wanna try those? No. Bean sprouts? Okay. So you got everything you need. Let me add your let me add your broth. I want the soup. I want the water. I want the soup. Okay. 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 Okay.
There's his ramen. Oops, I spilled a little bit. Benjamin, come tell me what you want in your bowl, buddy. All right, I'm going to give them both an egg and probably just put some noodles in there. And then the noodles need to cool off a little bit. But once, um, oh, they're cooled off. I'll give them this, and if they're still hungry, I'll probably give them a food pouch. Now time for mommy's. I got the rest of the mushrooms in the bok choy. I'm going to add cilantro. I'm going to add green onion. And I'm going to add the mung bean sprouts. And then I'll add the broth. You can add some um, tofu on top. That's pretty good. I just don't have the patience for tofu right now. <laughs> so. Oops. And there's much. If you guys want, if you guys are still hungry, we have two pears that need to be eaten. And oh, I did get you guys strawberries. So let me soak those. Strawberries. Yeah, I'm gonna soak them before y'all eat them. So by the time y'all finish, y'all be in a. No, you gotta get the pesticide off. Not healthy for a little baby or a little kid. I have these soaking in some vinegar water for a little bit, and then I'll rinse them off and cut them up for the kids. Let's see how this tastes. Need some seasoning, but I'm gonna hook that up real quick. And I'll be back. So I use the I use coconut aminos to because it's lower sodium. So I'm putting coconut aminos in here. Some fresh cracked pepper. Some garlic powder. Yeah, that's gonna help cook y help y'all out, bro. Some onion powder. And some chili oil. Let me see the sodium on this. Oh, there's no sodium in it. Oh! That's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My campus are in mine too. I can, but you're. How about you try the. Um... It's real spicy. Yeah. It's not like this. It's that... real, real spicy. It makes your nose go red. And it goes up your nose. That's how spicy it is, man. Eat your noodles. Mm -hmm. Alright, so this is what it's looking like now. Let's taste it to see how that. Mm -hmm. I think that's what I'm gonna need. I think I might add a little bit too much chili oil, but it's good. And some more coconut aminos. Mommy. About five dashes more, so ten dashes all together. Um, can you do one now? You want coconut aminos too? Yeah. Okay. I want this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. I want it. Really good now. It is 2.45. I'm actually going to start dinner because the twins are asleep, Benjamin is asleep, <clears throat> and my older two, Jessica and Donovan, they're outside playing. So this gives me like a moment to just like woosa for me. I'm gonna cook them today, some meatloaf, string beans, and what's the last thing? Mashed potatoes. And then I'm either gonna make myself a, a salad or with my veggie sandwiches or maybe both because I'm not hungry but I feel like I can get there and I'm gonna try to drink a thing of water because I've only had one today I'm listening to a podcast while I cook 
<clears throat> Let me know in the comments what you like to do while you cook. Sometimes I listen to worship music. Sometimes I sing. Sometimes I pray. Well, I think I always pray. So once this is over, I'm going to probably start praying um, for my family. But that's like one of the cues in my day to remind me to pray for my family because I'm always cooking. And so I dedicate, if it's, if it's quiet enough, <laughs> I dedicate this time to pray for my family um, and all that. So I'm going to listen to this podcast and I'm going to pray. The thing about making meatloaf, having the moist meatloaf and not dry meatloaf, is that when you combine everything, don't don't smush it. Just use a fork to lightly fluff it and then put it in your pan. So I like following Anna Garden's recipe. I like following all of the Food Network recipes because I know the seasoning. The only thing I need to do is season the meat. So the recipes are good. It's just that they don't necessarily season the meat. And that's what I do. So... And they like to season in flavors and things of that nature. And um, so I know that's going to turn out good for my family, being as well, I'm not going to eat it. So, all right. So I'm going to start off by sauteing the onions, three onions. And I have three pounds of ground beef. Her recipe does call for two and a half, but my people can eat. So we're going to... Let them let them enjoy themselves. So I have some garlic powder, onion powder, fresh cracked black peppers. I'll do some salt because they are not living a reduced sodium life. Need some thyme. And I'm going to let this cook for about 8 to 10 minutes until it is translucent. Okay, so these are translucent. So I'm going to turn my, water, my heat off. And I'm going to add my chicken stock. I don't have any chicken stock. So I'm going to add a bouillon cube. And I don't want my water to evaporate, so I'm going to move it off the heat. Yeah, that's not going to fill you up, though. How many? Turn it back and down, please. Two. How many? Two. I'll get it. We've got three tablespoons of Worcestershire. Shire. the whole jar because that's all we got yeah I'm gonna mix that up and then I'm also going to add one tablespoon of tomato paste This sit. I let my bouillon cube break up. Um, baby girl, that didn't make it into the trash can. Thank you. Why? I'm going to let that sit and cool off, and then I'm going to start my potatoes. Uh, 
All right, so I have three pounds of ground beef. I'm going to add the same seasonings that I added to my um, onion mixture, or the same seasonings I'm gonna add to the meat. So I'm gonna add some thyme. Onion powder. Garlic powder. Some real seasoning. And then a half a cup of um, fried corn. So I'm assuming that's going to be like a half a cup. All right, so I have my eggs. I still crack my eggs in a um, separate container because every once in a while I get shells in it. I don't know. So um, I'm just trained to do that. <clears throat> I'm just always nervous that I'm going to get a shell in it. Okay, now I'm going to add my mixture. Oopsie. So before I add my mixture, I am going to add a little bit of garlic to the mixture. I didn't want it to cook in the mixture while it was cooking. So, but it's warm now and it will cook in the oven. I did set my, and I am going to use some in the um, potatoes. But I set my oven to 325 and I'm going to stir this up. And then add my own mixture. And like I said earlier, the trick is to not mix it with your hand, not over mix it. So you're gonna lightly fluff it up and then add it to your pan. I forgot salt. Let me add some salt. And I forgot pepper. Ooh. It's all mixed up. All right, so I have my pan here that is lined with aluminum foil. I'm gonna dump out my stuff. Top it with some sweet vinaigrette barbecue sauce. Her recipe calls for uh, ketchup, but we're a barbecue family. And I'm gonna put it in the oven on 325 for 
one hour to one hour and 15 minutes. I'm probably going to do an hour and 20 minutes, being as though I have a little bit more meat than she does in her recipe. So. My potatoes are done. They give them the pork test. Oh yeah, they're done. It's a little hot, but yep. If it falls off, it's good. I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my string beans. And after I cut the ends off, that's when I soak them in some vinegar and water before I cook them clean off the, I guess, wax stuff that's on it. And then I'll get started with my mashed potatoes. All right, I'm gonna let these soak for about 10 minutes in some water and vinegar. Rinse them off, let them boil for nine, eight to nine minutes. And then that's it. So while this is still hot, I'm going to go ahead and add my garlic, some white pepper, thank you, some onion powder. Garlic powder. I hope I said onion powder. I don't remember. A little bit of color, just a little bit of Creole seasoning. I'm pretty much gonna add a stick of butter. Well, it's like one tablespoon shy of butter. So, got seven tablespoons of butter. And I don't have any cream or anything, so I'm just going to add some um, almond milk, just a little bit. Get it going. And some sour cream. I am going to get, add a little bit of parsley. And I'm going to try to match it up. Be nice, guys. Needs a little bit more salt. It's all done, so I'm going to put a lid on it. Let it cook till it's time for dinner. It's 4.48 and dinner's pretty much done. I've cleaned the kitchen while I was waiting. Um, I ran some cold water over my string beans. And I'm going to have some of these Doritos while my daughter reads to me. Hopefully I'll eat the rest of the bag. Wow. That much in there. Kids are watching a movie, so I'm doing a voiceover. Before I forget, I did have two and a half cups of my water for today's water intake. For my salad, I just have half a bag of buttered le lettuce, some pomegranate seeds, then I added 
some onion and some pickled onions, some tomatoes, some cucumbers, some red bell peppers, or red peppers, I don't know, some olives, some garlic powder, some onion powder, and then this is the dressing that I use. It's very good and it's vegan and it's pretty clean compared to other dressings. And then I like to chop it up with the pizza cutter. <laughs> I love a chopped salad and a big bowl. And then I'll crunch up some um, wheat saltine crackers. If I'm not mistaken, there's not a lot of salt in those either. And that's my salad. Oh, and then I remembered that I forgot about my bacon, my mushroom bacon. So I went and cut some up to put that on top as well. And then I just found something more crunchy. I like a lot of textures in my salad. So I added some of these buffalo style chickpeas from Aldi on top just for a little crunch. And then I remembered to add some guacamole. <laughs> so I definitely wanted to add some avocado, even though it was seasoned to my salad. That was pretty good. All in all, I'm pretty happy with how I ate today. I'm realizing that I have weak moments. And that weak moment was between dinner and lunch. So... I'll try to That's all I have for you today. Uh, for, it's 7 13. Um, and I'll probably have a big bar for dessert, probably around 8 or 9, and I'll go to bed. So, if you haven't heard today, God loves you. Don't forget to drink your water and repent. Bye.